Sylvan Learning Center is a leading provider in providing education and learning skills to students K through 12. And they do this by inspiring them to learn and to live their best lives. And today joining me is their director, Jill Johnston. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, okay, well, back to school is here. It's already here. Yep. Summer went by pretty quick. It sure did. <laughs> and so I'm sure this is your busiest time as you are just trying to get students not only back into school and learning, um, but also providing your resources because you actually add an extra level of education to their normal classes, right? Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe we're already a couple weeks in and so homework is coming in. Um, obviously, one of the things that we can help with is homework support and making sure that student is staying on top of things. The biggest part is making sure those assignments are completed. So most students just need a way to kind of keep track of all of that. Right. And in case someone has not heard of Sylvan Learning, you all are um, a supplemental um, education, right? So it's not in um, replacing a normal school day. You add extra learning. So kind of give us an overview of what the services are that you provide. Absolutely. So one of the things that we can do, one of our programs is homework support, which means pretty much what it is, which is supporting them with the homework in their class. But that goes beyond just getting that work done. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure they're equipped with um, the right study tools mm -hmm. and that they know how to study for tests. That's a big mm -hmm. one. And then making sure that they're watching when their assignments are due and getting them turned in on a regular basis. If they're not understanding the concept that they're working on, that's when we can really reteach, slow the pace down, and make sure the student is understanding the foundations behind that. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. And so how does it work exactly? So is it a student will go to normal school, right? If they're mm -hmm. K through 12, they'll go throughout their school day. And then do they come after school to your center or is it weekends? Is it um, at home tutoring? How does it work? Yes, yeah, so it is, like you said, in addition to the school day. So um, our busiest times are after school. So we're open 3.30 to 8.30. Mm -hmm. And then we also have Saturday hours. We wanna try to make it um, as convenient and flexible as possible because we know a lot of students are involved in other activities as well. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's great. And so as um, students are going back, I know parents are like, ah, you know, trying to <laughs> just to balance it all and really make sure that their child is on top of their academics. Mm -hmm. And so you all provide that support. And so today you're going to share some tips on how um, parents can really just assess and really provide the best support for their children. Okay. So let's talk about, so we talked about homework and you all mm -hmm. supporting that. And I know a big tip is to create a haven mm -hmm. for homework. So what does that mean? Absolutely. Uh, the big piece of that is making sure you have a space set aside at mm. home where your child knows they're going to work on homework. Mm -hmm. Less distractions. Make sure it's comfortable. It might not be at the kitchen table. Maybe there's a lot going on there. Maybe there's a separate place, an office, or maybe it is the living room on the floor. Maybe your mm. child works better there. Just figure out what that space is and make Make sure that you're keeping it clean and less cluttered and have all the supplies, pens, pencils, paper, ready to go. Okay, awesome. And that is so true. I think that even applies to adults in a way of when you're working from home. Like I realized a long time ago that having a separate space for your office mm. really makes a difference because if I'm working in the bed, then I could be working all day long. But when I separate it and go to a physical space that's mm -hmm. designated, yeah. then you kind of create, okay, I'm going to be working and then I'm going to release, right? Mm -hmm. Work and release. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next tip that you all have is establishing a routine. Oh, <sighs> Yes. How do you do that? <laughs> do we all need that? Right. Um, routine is, is very, very important. Um, not only for adults, but for kids as well. Um, we need to make sure that we know what's coming. It's good to be prepared. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the ways that you can develop a routine at home is to come up with kind of like a checklist, basically, mm -hmm. of this is the order of we're going to do things 
when we get home, we do our homework, and then we have a snack, and then we do our chores. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't have to be in that order. You, f you figure that out as a family, right. whatever works for you. But you may even at the beginning have to actually physically put that on a piece of paper on the fridge or a dry erase board. Mm -hmm. We like to utilize that. And it's very satisfying when you can start checking things yes. off. But young children and um you know, older children all need that reminder, that visual reminder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true because we can think that we have the list in our head, but then we get distracted, ADD, you know, mm -hmm. TV's on, just whatever, phone rings. <laughs> and I was like, what was I trying to accomplish tonight? So mm -hmm. checklist works yes. for everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you speak about um, getting organized together mm -hmm. and also um, being able to get packed in um, a smart way. So we're gonna pack smart our bags and be organized. Let's talk about that. Yes, um, part of that is preparation, right? Um, mornings get crazy, mm -hmm. um, very hectic, and you know, it's early, nobody wants to be up. There's things everywhere. We've got lunches, we've got book bags, we've got shoes, all the things. It is really important to make sure everything has a space and that it's ready. So mm. night before is gonna be a big deal. Don't yeah. just run off to bed. Okay, it's time for bed. Yeah. Make sure you take those few minutes and have everything where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Pack the lunch the night before. It's in the fridge, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Water bottle, already filled up in the fridge. Right. Um, anything that goes to school in one designated space, right? Mm -hmm. I can easily grab it. Sticky notes are your friend. So mm -hmm. if there's something important you need to remember to get or to do first thing in the morning, put that sticky note right mm -hmm. on your book bag. You're not leaving without the book bag. So right. put it right there so it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. So that's part of getting ready the night before. And then on top of that, having a family calendar is going to mm -hmm. be huge to keep track of everything that's going on throughout the week. Right. Jill, mm -hmm. you're speaking my language. Like, I feel like this is a dual conversation. You're like, do this for the kids. I'm like, do it for the adults. Yes. Because that is so true. I mean, I just think I'm like, I have this little space on my kitchen counter before mm -hmm. I leave. And I'm like, okay, I put everything there yep. the night before. If it's whatever lipsticks or paper I need to, or earrings, you know, just whatever I need to mm -hmm. gather up and mm -hmm. leave the next day. And I just put a sticky note on my door last night. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like great. I'm doing the right stuff. I'm you are. Right You're stuff. doing okay. it right. Good okay, job. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final tip that you have is celebrating small wins. Now, I am a big fan of that. So talk to me about how that works. Yes. So like I said, we're a couple weeks in. So if you came up with a routine and a plan and you had the calendar and you stuck to it, celebrate that. Yeah. Go out for ice cream as a family and say, yes, we did it. Maybe it wasn't perfect, but we said we we're going to stick to this routine or we're going to stick to the things on the calendar and yeah. we did it. But also give yourself grace. If you need to change your routine, mm. there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Maybe you had this great idea and expectation in your head. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't realistic. So <laughs> pare it back down, keep it simple mm -hmm. and start again. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Incentives work. We got to be them. working for something. Yeah, that's right. We all <laughs> well, like awesome. a treat. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you so much, Jill, for mm -hmm. coming in and sharing these really important tips now that school is back. <laughs> thank you. And if you would like more information about Sylvan Learning Center, we'll have their website listed below to check them out. And I'll see you after the break. <laughs> 